Before we get into this weekly tarot reading for you, I just want to say that I love you so much and I really want to let you know how extremely appreciative I am of you choosing to watch this video, even if it's just for a few minutes. I love you so much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Taurus, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Taurus, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do because that is how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. As well, Taurus, if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Taurus, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way Taurus but remember to use your intuition because put it in perspective I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you Taurus you know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't darling because I'm not going to be affected by it whatsoever I won't be offended I promise you I believe my weekly horoscopes for you Taurus are just here to give you some food for thought for the day something for you to consider as you go throughout your week but never making the decisions in your life because it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards so all that being said, Taurus, let's just get into your weekly reading. And I want to start this out with seeing where you guys are currently at, Taurus, in your journey, right? How, how are you currently feeling at this time? What energy are you currently at? And then we will progress with this uh, reading for you. So Taurus, we have the Ace of Air or the Ace of Swords coming in. Big card to have. Uh, this card says brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth in a situation and a challenging new beginning, Taurus. Now, don't mind me. I'm getting, <laughs> it's like, honey, don't judge me, Taurus. It's 12 o'clock in the morning and I gotta get your readings in, darling. Mm. Triple shot, darling. They said, <laughs> I ain't even gonna edit this out. No shame. Uh, so with this card right now for you, Taurus, this is letting me know, you know, we can take this in a couple ways. You know, the uh, more optimistic nature of myself, Taurus, wants to say that we're really honing in, in a sense of where you're tapping into a new creative idea, an idea that you're just like, ah, oh, that sounds like, that sounds nice. I could uh, go deeper into this. Or on the flip side of things with the Ace of Swords, if this is in regards to a... Uh, more of a dramatic, drama-filled dynamic tours, which it's fine, right? We all have drama in our lives, darling. Um, then this is just giving me a impression of, uh, you know, seeing things for how they are and, you know, no longer having the uh, something covering your eyes, the illusion, the curtain over your eyes. But Ace of Cups coming in, uh, complementing this energy right off the bat. Really good uh, uh, affirmative card, uh, affirming card, affirmative, uh, affirming card for you, Taurus. So it's really powerful when you have Aces pairing up like this as well uh, for you, Taurus, uh, because whenever you see a bunch of Aces paired together, it's usually a sign of like a affirmative sign of asking you to be like, okay, well, not asking you, but telling you that it's like a forward push essentially towards to be like okay like there's been this idea right as the ace of sword implies definitely go after this lean into this more right ace of cups also naturally just re represents you know opening your heart up open up opening up the idea to new energies to new possibilities as well Taurus. so let's go a little bit deeper with this right uh let's see what more detail we can get we have the moon card coming in here all right, this is suspicious now. Not in a bad way. Knight of Swords coming in here. So Taurus, are you having some uh, reservations perhaps on uh, during this journey? Like what's part of the reason if you haven't taken action on this yet? Uh, are you having reservations on like what is what could happen? What could uh, be what, you know, what the moon ends up revealing, right? going out of your with going out of your comfort zone right uh with the knight of swords this is the fastest moving knight but it's also the easiest the the knight that could be influenced the most or the easiest right so you could take 10 steps forward with the situation with this idea but then you can start retracting from it uh you know pulling up your guard more getting in your head uh a little bit and you know convincing yourself that 
of whatever thing that you want to convince yourself of when it comes to this idea of yours that, you know, whatever reasons or excuses, if we want to be blunt to us, right, but I know y'all can handle it, uh, that you tell yourself or why it is you don't push yourself. Now, I know in your last week's reading, Taurus, I was a little bit brutal on you guys, but you guys took it with stride, so I thank you guys for that, for being kind to me in the comments, um, that I kind of called some of y'all out, Taurus, so where it's like, I felt like you guys were not fully li uh, living in your potential. Whereas it's like I could acknowledge and be like, okay, Taurus, like you're doing the right things, right? Uh, you're going down the right path. I just feel like you could do more. We're not, you know, honey, I don't know your life. Let me just make that clear, right? I don't know, you, <laughs> right? And I'm not telling you what you should and shouldn't do, darling. I'm minding my business over here the best that I can. But what I mean is spirit was having the cards coming through and giving this implication, Taurus, and that they felt like you, you could push yourself more nine of cups definitely and i feel like you guys Taurus, have kind of leaned into this or you you are open to this and now with this idea of this ace of air this nine of cups comes forward and i don't know it feels like you guys are warming up to the idea of something warming up to some type of interest something has definitely perked your interest Taurus, that you really want to start leaning into and i really feel like you should uh personally so now Taurus, let's get into uh how this journey is going to continue playing out for you this week right we start this out with the ego card archangel joe l which is the fool number six for numerology Taurus. so write that down uh this card says a false sense of entrapment being overly focused on the material things as well as negative or fear-based thoughts right those fear-based thoughts of what I was already talking about with this moon card, Taurus, remember. And then we have, what else? The king of air coming in here, uh, speaking your mind with confidence. This card says, seeking out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. Uh, so in this dynamic right here, Taurus, I feel like the biggest thing to be looking out for during this journey is to, hmm. I would be saying, Taurus, that the your biggest, I mean, and I feel like it kind of goes with the same theme from last week, Taurus, where I feel like the biggest criminal or the biggest blockage in your life that you'll be experiencing is just kind of with yourself right is more so just like how well you are able to keep a grasp on your own mental considerations you know are you able to hold yourself accountable are you able to you know when you start hearing those negative thoughts right the ones that are telling you that you wouldn't be successful the ones that are you know that this new idea of yours is silly and you shouldn't bother feeding energy into it or anything like that right any of that um I really feel like this is the num number one thing to be looking out for this week in your journey. So let's get some more cards with this, though. You know, for you know, let's switch up decks, actually, darling. We don't want to do that deck anymore. Let's let's pull out the more fabulous deck for you, Taurus, and see what clarifiers we can get for this. Let's see here. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse. So this is all about. Mm, let me not run my mouth quite yet. Nine of Cups coming in here, healing in regards to yourself. Taurus, you need to forgive. Some of y'all need to forgive yourself in something that you, you pers I'm not going to say that you failed at. Notice my verbiage with this that you feel like you could have done better at, or that you feel like, Taurus, that you failed at. Now, this is more so just for probably speaking to my crit more critical. Uh, self-critical natured Tauruses that are just having such an extremely high standard of themselves, right? Nothing wrong with it, but I am seeing this for some of you Tauruses, this is what's being like the extreme limiter for you, if that makes sense. It does feel like some of you guys are hung up on some type of old situation. And so because of this, you know, I feel like it's going to be, it feels like 
you know, I get like this scenario of like a tourist going up on stage, you know, for their play and then they ended up having stage fright and like they peed their pants, darling, right? Bear with me, continue on with this analogy, tourist, don't lose me, don't click off yet. And so then they had this fear, this phobia. I guess it's kind of similar to falling off that horse, right? The, you know, the saying of like, get back up on that horse after you fall off, you know, don't experience that trauma. But in this sense, it just, I don't know. I feel like for some of you Tauruses, you just need to let go of like how a situation that you were part of didn't work out before in the best way. Emperor card in the reverse. Some of you guys are just being extremely critical of yourself um, in Taurus. And I feel like you need to just the very least remind yourself of this. So as you go throughout this week, you know, it's, it's perfect. You know, I'm the last person to be saying, darling, that you shouldn't have a high standard of yourself. But um you know, because there's a level that you can grow from this, right? It's holding yourself accountable and pushing yourself. But at the same time, uh, this also is what's stopping some of you guys and putting a little bit more of a stage fright in your guys' performances and whatever it is uh, that you are trying to go after, Taurus, because of the stage fright, because now it's ending up clouding your vision for how you see your own potential. Don't mind me. My cats, listen, my cat owners or any type of pet owner, darling, y'all know, like your pets are basically another ch more children. So when I see my children lurking around in the middle of the night when they're supposed to be sleeping, my cat too loves. <laughs> making sure she's not doing anything so then yeah let's get into the six of wands coming in here yeah for some of you like Taurus I'm gonna like wrap it up here in terms of this because I don't need to beat a dead horse I feel like you guys get the point uh with the six of wands though yeah you guys need to just forgive yourself some of you Tauruses need to forgive yourself stop being so overtly critical on yourself when it comes to this new idea when it comes to this ace of swords during this journey right biggest thing biggest sabotage for you is going to be like how you are speaking to yourself how you are personally viewing yourself during this week so really try to exude that king of air energy where you have a good grasp mental grasp very logical with your approach right not reactionary based off of emotion right take the emotion out of the situation so let's get into how this journey is going to pan out for you Taurus. what's this ending of this journey going to be looking like for this week Night of air, so progress. But again, as I said before, this is the most influential, influenced, uh, inf the night that is the easiest to be influenced. My gosh, I don't know what it is with me, Taurus, that I can't speak properly for y'all's reading right now. Um, so as I was saying, like, you know, this is highly, like, this night could be the most effective, right? Covering the most ground. But if you, Taurus, are able to have that good mental, uh, fortitude, right? If you get in your head too much during this journey, you could end up going backwards several steps as well. So then this is essentially saying the ball is in your court, Taurus. Are you going to be up for the challenge, right? Are you going to answer to the challenge and go 10 steps forward with this motivation by exuding uh, more king of air energy, king of swords energy, or are you going to let those creeping thoughts get in, right? Think about those, uh, or are you going to be overtly critical of yourself and think about maybe some past times of where you feel like you could have done better, right? And that ends up affecting your performance this week, right? It's all dependent on you, darling, all dependent on you, Taurus. So let's get some clarifiers on this. We have the High Priestess card, you know this, right? High Priestess is all about the intuition. Uh, Nine of Wands in the reverse coming in here with the Judgment card in the reverse. So Taurus, I'm getting like the majority of you guys. Um, I am getting for the majority of you guys, Taurus, that I see I see you guys kind of doing a half step, right? Not necessarily going backwards, but I see you got some of you guys do, you, you, you know, and I guess that's still forward progress, darling, right? It's better for you guys to take a half step forward than taking two steps back, right? You guys are warming up to the idea. So be kind, you know, kind of the same energy of being kind to yourself this week, Taurus, you know? 
uh, it's not baby steps. I feel like is really going to be the key thing for you to tell yourself this week is reminding yourself that it's okay to do baby steps. Even for how I'm speaking to you guys, Taurus, I had to catch myself and I was almost going to chastise you guys and seeing that baby step, but we do need to acknowledge that, um, at the very least you're going forward right? Progress is progress, baby. It doesn't matter how uh, how much progress it is. That doesn't matter. The, how much progress it is, is just feeding your ego, just celebrating the fact that you're progressing in something. That's what we celebrate, darling. And speaking of children, Taurus, here's my child right now. All right. I need to not give her too much camera time, y'all, because she's starting to ask for a cut from my YouTube paycheck now, darling. She's thinking she's talent. <laughs> she's hired talent. She doesn't do no, she doesn't pay no bills. She doesn't do no chores, nothing. Taurus, that's a whole nother, hmm, let me not. Um, now, Taurus, let's get into your uh, love and social situations this week, because keep in mind, Taurus, you guys have more than just romantic uh, relationships in your life, right? We have the platonic ones, we have the work-life uh, relationships, we have family, friends, darling, associates, acquaintances, you know, everything. So let's see what's going on there this week for y'all. Eight of Earth, Eight of Pentacles. Y'all are definitely, you know, as we began your reading uh, with the Ace of Air talking about seeing the truth in a situation, I still see, uh, even with the, for a lot of you Tauruses, you guys are seeing, it's reflective in the sense that you guys are seeing the truth or learning uh, more about somebody um, that you weren't initially aware of before. It's almost like, <clears throat> I want to say, Taurus, the sense that, you know, I speak better in analogies, darling. So it's almost as if, like, a friend that you've had for a long time, or I guess it doesn't have to be a long time, darling, but, you know, someone that you've been around for a while, you know, they end up perhaps doing, you go out to eat with them, and then you watch how they treat the waiter, for example, and you're just like, uh, like, I don't know if I want to be, you know, and that's just like a negative narrative. It could be this completely opposite, right? It could be, uh, something extremely positive where they're holding the door or what have you right darling um it's not always just <laughs> go into the uh negative routes that's more so me speaking to myself at that point huh so let's get some clarifiers on this right before we move on for this what are you getting perspective on who are you learning about all right let's see what's going on here and the cards of course darling start messing up we have the star card that wanted to pop out we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Ooh, okay, Taurus. And the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So yeah, a lot of you Tauruses this week. Um, did y'all even see this? I feel like I hit it with my hand. Uh, a lot of you Tauruses this week are definitely seeing how someone probably isn't going to be riding with you too much longer. In this sense here, some, a lot of you, some, I, don't, I say a lot of you guys, I say some of you Tauruses are definitely seeing someone and more so just identifying being like, oh, this person isn't going to be, you know, if we're going to rank in terms of like friendships, you know, maybe at one point you were like thinking this friendship was like a level three friendship and then seeing how they acted, you know, now you're making the choice to be like, uh, maybe turn them down to like a level two friendship, right? You don't want to open up to them or you're just acknowledging that they're not conducive to where it is you're trying to go in your environment in some way, Taurus. So take that as you will, darling. Um, but now, Taurus, let's start getting into your financial and career situation this week. What's going on? What is in the works for my Taurus's financial and career this week? Let's see here. Let's see. All right, we have the Four of Air, Four of Swords coming in. A lot of air cards coming in for you just this week in general, Taurus. Uh, just something to note, it's not a bad thing, but it just shows like a heavy emphasis in terms of, uh, this is going to be a pretty probably uh, taxing week for you mentally. Uh, so with this Four of Swords coming in, time to take a rest or a vacation, allowing more time before making a decision, and meditation may provide the answer. So definitely, and I feel like this is not going to please a lot of my Tauruses, uh, but we'll see. Maybe y'all maybe are already going to be willing to admit it yourself. But um, 
I do get this strong calling towards to uh, Hierophant coming in with the Chariot card. Let's see here. Five of Cups in the reverse. It kind of just feels like this is almost like a reactionary thing, Taurus. I can't help but feel like, and this is probably only going to be for a certain few, but I feel like some of you Tauruses are trying to supplement for something. And I also am remembering from a couple of readings ago for, me, for you, Taurus, where I, was kind of, I wasn't chastising y'all, but I felt like as if like some of you guys turned down an opportunity to do something. And so it almost feels like this week you guys are trying to supplement for that by doing more trying to just really push yourself and i almost kind of get this feeling towards that you need to just take a pause and really just like go back to the drawing board now i'm not saying that when you go to that drawing board you need to erase everything that you've done and change up your plans entirely i just feel like you need to you know just take a moment to just like assess the situation darling assess the situation and go from there but yeah, Taurus, that is the reading that I have for you, this weekly tarot reading that I have for you this week. I hope you found some cards that resonated with you. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Taurus, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, web my website's down below along with all my social media information, simplyvelka.com. All my apps are simplyvelka. Uh, and also, if you have a friend, Taurus, that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them one of my tarot videos and maybe they can find a tarot message that resonates with them as well, Taurus. But uh, yeah, until next time, Taurus, I will connect with you sometime in the near future, hopefully. I love you so much.